Michigan State University has a new president. Stony Brook University President Samuel L. Stanley will take over the position August 1st, ending a year-long search for MSU's next leader. 24 Hour News 8's Lindsay McComel sat in a press conference with the new president that just wrapped up minutes ago. She's live on campus with more on this announcement this noon. Emily and Sue, good afternoon to you. Now, the announcement this morning got a resounding applause from most of the people in the room as they announced Stanley Jr. as the president designee, but not everyone is supporting this. All of the 18 members of the presidential search committee, as well as all of the trustees do, however, and even Stanley Jr. mentioned that he has a lot to learn when it comes to moving MSU forward out of this dark chapter at the university. Now, this announcement comes after what felt like constant conflict conflict between administration and the MSU community over the last few years. President Luana K. Simon stepped down at the beginning of 2018. Former Governor John Engler was then appointed interim president without any public input and quickly became a polarizing figure because of his tone and statements. That then led to him stepping down because of his actions as interim. And Satish Udpa became acting president in January of this year. And that now brings us to today when Dr. Stanley was unanimously voted as MSU's 21st president effective August 1st. He he addressed the Nasser scandal during that meeting. I also see a Spartan community that has had a turbulent and difficult time, a community in need of healing. Like Dr. Utta and the board, I want to meet with the survivors and their families, listen to their voices and their thoughts, and learn from them. And I want to work with them and all of the campus community to ensure that changes that need to be made are implemented. What happened at MSU will not be forgotten. Instead, it will drive us every day to work together to build a campus culture of transparency, awareness, sensitivity, respect, and prevention, a safe campus for all. Now, specific to the pushback that the announcement is getting, there are a few groups on campus, specifically Reclaim MSU, upset over the fact that this presidential search became closed after the initial stages began last year. They wanted to know the finalists' names prior to a selection being made, which is the exact opposite of what happened today. So I'll have more from them coming up at 5 and 6. As for the president-designee, you can go to woodtv.com right now to see more on his background, including what he accomplished at Stony Brook. Reporting live in East Lansing, Lindsay McComel, 24-Hour News 8.